welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica and I am a reseller. Um, I go and I go to thrift stores and estate sales and garage sales and um, yeah, I buy stuff and I resell it uh, for profit. So, uh, and for fun. For fun first and then for profit, right? So, um, I am going to be starting a YouTube channel on um, basically just centered around my little business. We're going to be looking at sold, mainly doing sold, what sold for the week videos. If um, maybe every other week, depending on how sales go. Um, we are in the month of June and I have been doing really well. Um, I actually started selling on Instagram a few years ago, probably about three years ago or so. And then um, I moved to Etsy a little bit and then I did pretty good on Etsy. I mean, you know, just um, not crazy serious on Etsy, but um, I still had a little business for a while. And then just recently I started selling on eBay and that has been uh, just been really good for me. I've really been enjoying it. I learned a lot um, just joining like communities on Facebook and Instagram and um, yeah, just learning from everybody else who does what I do so um, and who does it better and has been doing it for longer so we are going to start with my Instagram this is my Instagram account um, if you don't follow me already that'd be awesome if you followed me I usually post um, sometimes I'll post toys on um, on here first before I put them on eBay um, so Oh yeah, that's another thing. I like toys. That's what I sell. I like to buy and resell vintage toys. Usually, um, I guess anything, anything that's old, cool toy, you know, I'll pick it up for a good price and resell it and get it into the hands of somebody who really wants it and who collects. And um, yeah, just recently I actually sold a toy to a museum, which was really cool. And uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. But um, I just started dabbling a little bit in jewelry also and in clothing. So um, I'm not very good at jewelry and I'm actually not very good at clothing yet. But um, I still have a lot to learn in those areas. Uh, we are going to go ahead and well, here's my Instagram. Um, this is a little picture I took, but I usually use it for like kind of like my logo. And right now, I have about 2,124 followers. I kind of took a break off Instagram for a few months, and then I just hit it hard a, a couple months ago. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> a couple weeks ago. And, um, okay, so here's some of my pictures. Some of those pictures were in the intro that you guys saw. And, um... And so yeah, so I sell on Instagram. I don't have an official Instagram store account because I believe you have to link it to a, a Facebook account for your business. So I don't have an actual Instagram business page, but I still sell a little bit on Instagram. And also Instagram, we like Instagram because you don't have any selling fees, which is cool. Hopefully it stays like that. Okay, so we are going to move on to my eBay and what sold for the month of June. And I actually had more than I thought, so this might be broken up into two videos. Um, let's take a look at the first thing that I sold. Yes, okay. So this is actually a vintage Reebok um, purple Kool-Aid hat. It was a fitted hat. I got it at a church garage sale for 50 cents, and it sold for $12.95 on the first. Plus shipping. I rarely offer free shipping. I actually do not prefer free shipping at all. So um, even for clothing, I'll charge, still charge, you know, a little bit. But um but yeah, so this sold for $12.95. The next thing that sold was just uh, replacement pieces for this Barbie Fairytopia little play set. I believe it's in the early, early to mid 90s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but that, yeah, this sold. I actually bought like a bag of this, just these little toys, and um. I've actually been doing really good with them. They were most of them were like vintage from vintage play sets like Polly Pockets and stuff like that. So um, I actually just threw this up. I wasn't even going to really sell it, but I threw it up and I made um, 
12 bucks off of it. So the whole bag was about $3. And so once I pieced everything out, um, I don't know, maybe I paid 10, 20 cents for it. So, so yeah, I made 12 bucks, a little less than $12 off that. Um, that's another thing is you're not going to hear me say exactly what I made after fees and what I paid for the item and, you know, all that. Um, I'm still learning how to actually log my items and keep inventory and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, I'm getting a little bit better at that for the most part. I just know that I make money off items. Um. I also don't have a whole lot of listings. I know some of you guys have like thousands of listings. I Right now, I literally have like 170 listings, which is big for me. My goal is to get up to 500 before the fourth quarter, before the fourth quarter, um, into Christmas. So hopefully, I can make it to 500. Um... The next thing that sold was this um, vintage Edward Mobley Bunny Rabbit Squeak Toy. So these are super cute. Um, if you know Edward Mobley, you know that his squeakers are like this big. Pretty big. And this one was a hard rubber one. It sold for $32. I actually have a cool story behind um, some of the toys I'm going to be showing you. Um, I had gone to an estate sale that was ran, was being run out of a storage unit, and supposedly the lady that hired the people to do the estate sale, um, she just fell into hard times, so she had to sell uh, pretty much all of her stuff, all of her belongings. Well, in her belongings were just a ton of vintage, like mid-century to 1980s uh, toys. So I actually go to this um, I went to the, you know, the storage unit, I pulled up, I kind of like got really excited because I just saw all the toys and, um, I started looking at them and like each piece was like anywhere from 15 to $40. I'm just like, man, I, I'm just not going to pay that much for each item. Um, there was probably around 50 to 60, maybe even 70, um, pieces, uh, you know, 70 different toys, and so I'm looking at all of them. A lot of them were plushes, uh, stuffed animals, and so anyways, I kind of lingered around, and um, I was with my, my daughter at the time, so my daughter's kind of looking at the toys, and and um, I was just thinking, I was like, okay, how can I get all of these toys home with me? Um, they want like $30 for each piece. That's no, that's just, there's no way I could do that. And I just kind of, you know, I just threw it out there. I just approached one of the ladies and I said, what would you, what would it cost me, you know, to take all of them home? And I think she was pretty surprised by that answer. I mean, by that question, because she was just like, what? Like all of them? And I'm like, all of them. And so she's like, I, I don't know. Let me go ask. And she went and asked the man who ran it. And um, he's like, are you serious? I'm like, I'm serious. You know, I, I want all of them. And he was like, well, what would you pay for all of them? And um, I knew, I, I live in a little kind of, you know, it's a little town. I knew nobody, like, I knew. I knew that nobody was going to buy <laughs> these toys for that much. Um, the people in my town are very cheap. So, um, so yeah, I knew that they weren't selling. And I, I think this was like the third day of the sale. They were still all there. And I said, I will pay you $175, maybe $200 for all of them. And so he looked at me and he was just kind of like, Man, let me let me talk about it. So they all huddled, like all the people from the estate sale, <laughs> they kind of huddled. And um, after a few minutes, they came back and they offered me the lot for two twenty-five. I took it, and uh, well, actually, they offered me the lot, but without this toy, this toy, and this toy, because they knew that those toys were the most expensive ones. And I said, okay, that's fine. So um, I went to the bank, I grabbed two sixty, and I came back, and um, I said. I'll give you 260 if you throw in those other toys. And so I kind of just made a big bundle. I paid 260 for this lot, which is crazy for me because I don't like to pay more than a couple bucks for a toy. So I called my husband. I made sure that, you know, he wasn't going to faint um, out of shock. And um, so, yeah, I mean, my car was packed full of 
toys and my daughter she couldn't even see out the windows because there was just so many um so many stuffed animals so and squeaky toys so this was the first thing that sold i listed it and literally a few hours later it sold for 32. i was very excited about that okay so you'll be seeing a lot more of those toys from that lot um sold in this video i think more in the next video i have some pretty exciting ones Okay, the next thing that sold here was this Disney, um, this PVC, just a little PVC of the White Rabbit. I actually bought this for like twenty-five, fifty cents. It sold for five dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. Oh, there was a Kool-Aid hat. I showed you that already. This next one was actually the first piece of clothing I ever sold. So, um. I was pretty excited to sell it. It's a Sesame Street t-shirt by Mighty Fine. I only made, um, I think I paid 50 cents for it. Um, I sold it for only six, but, um, but hey, it sold. Okay, the next thing that I sold was this vintage Cherry Mary muffin doll. I believe this is the second edition or like the second version. Um, not the original, original Cherry Mary muffin. She is in the original line of toys, but she was like the second version made because she has crimped hair and she's a little bit different. Her um, her face is a little bit different from the original Cherry Mary Muffin and I believe so is her dress. But I had bought a big lot of Cherry Mary Muffin items and so um, I maybe paid like 10 cents for her. So she sold for six sixty plus shipping. Um, this was uh, one of those toys from the lot that I bought and um, the big lot and I put this guy up and he sold within a couple hours he is a rushed in star creation uh, just rubber faced bunny rabbit so there are these just plushes that have rubber faces and of course they're really popular in the mid-century and um, and so yeah he was in super good condition I think the only flaw that he had was like he had a little seam rip under his underarm but um i think he's super cute anyways he sold for 132 and um and so yeah so at this point i'm like starting to wipe the sweat off my forehead from spending 260 on these stuffed animals because i bought i bought a lot of i have kids so you might hear them but um so yeah super cute the next thing that sold was this guy. I picked him up for $2 at Savers. He sold for $2. He was up for at least a couple weeks. And then um, I was just, okay, just put him on a $0.99 cent auction. So um, actually, no, a $2 auction because I only had one bid. Anyways, I sold him. And I didn't make any money off of him. But I got him out of the way because he took up room. He was a pretty fat little spongy guy. Okay, I bought these for 25 cents. These are the vintage goodies, uh, goodie 80s um, barrettes. And so I actually bought a lot, a little lot of these, and they all sold. I probably made maybe like $25, $30 out of this whole little lot that I bought. So yeah, if you see vintage barrettes out there, grab them. They sell well. Well, the next thing I sold are these little Roly Poly figures. So these are like from Harmony Kingdom. They're um, not ceramic. I'm not really sure what the material is, but um, yeah, they're, I guess they are ceramic. But there's these cool little um, trinket boxes. And um, I actually have had these for a very long time. I started collecting them in high school, which is almost like 15 years ago, 20 years ago. And um, and so, yeah, I just had them in storage, and I got them out, put them up. They sold for $24.95, which was cool. Oh, this is another plush from that lot, that estate lot that I, that I, um, that I bought. And at this point, I'm like, yeah, because I already made my money back. I put this guy up for $2.20. He sold within a couple hours. Um. Yeah, so I mean, I was totally satisfied with this lot already, and I only sold three or four pieces, and I still have, you know, like 25, 30 to go. Not all of them are rushed in, though. Those rushed in rubber faces, yeah, keep your eye out for those. Okay, next is another squeaky toy from that lot, another Edward Mobley. This is Bucky the Happy Pony, sold for $14.95. 
Um, this was another mid uh, Russian from the lot, and I sold him for 75. He's a cute guy. I know, right? He's, I mean, I was so happy. I was so excited <laughs> to find that lot. It was like a, that wasn't even the biggest selling plush. Um, I'm going to get to him in a little while. Just, just totally blew me away. All right, the next one, um, oh, these little guys. I bought them for 50 cents at an estate sale. No, I'm lying. I bought them for 50 cents at a church rummage sale. They sold for $8. Okay, the next thing that um, that sold were these two little Polly Pocket figures. They're from the 1980s. They had little mouth mouth rubs, like their mouth was not there. But um, they still sold for six bucks, which is cool. I had had those for a while, so I'm not exactly. I think I don't know. Maybe paid uh, a quarter for them or something. Okay, this was a um, this is a cool find. I love finding stuff that I've never found before, and um, this was I found this at a thrift a thrift store for 99 cents, and um, it was really cool Mickey Mouse like doctor kit, and um, it actually had um, some of the original little um, pieces of equipment there. <laughs> of course, they're plastic. It was it was really cool. This actually sold pretty quick. I think it sold within a day. I bought it for a dollar, and it sold for 13.50. I usually love little toys and like little things like this because they're all first class shipping. So um, they're pretty easy to ship. Uh, this little girl actually had her for a while and I laughed because <laughs> look at my listing title. <laughs> it's just Hug a Bunch Doll. That's it, Hug a Bunch Doll. So my keywords there kind of, um, yeah, aren't the best, but she's still sold. That's maybe why like, I had her for a while. But, um, but yeah, she's just this little dolly figurine sold for eight bucks probably picked her up from a dollar for good at goodwill or so this was from that lot of all those toys and look how cute he is so cute this it was actually 1984 and he still had his tags on him and um oh throw it away and um and so, yeah, super cute little guy. I mean, the toys that I had bought in from that estate sale were just so nice, just really good condition. And um, so, yeah, so it's for 18. He's so cute. Okay, so this was a really big surprise. This is actually one of the toys that I bought in the law, of course. It's a rubber face fit, uh, rushed in. And... Um, I was going to keep it because I was like this I, out of the whole lot you know I got to keep at least one of these toys and so I was going to keep the fish the fish was super cute to me I mean look at this isn't that cute that's super cute he was like what 14 inches I think so um, I was going to keep him I do not collect toys um, I have a few like I have some wuzzles and maybe a little bit of hug a bunch but I'm not a collector because I enjoy selling more than I do enjoy collecting but I was like I gotta keep this guy so once I started researching him I actually posted him on my Instagram account and all of a sudden I just started getting all these messages and people were just interested in this fish I found out that this fish the last one that was sold was on eBay a few years ago and it went for a few hundred dollars so I was like okay I gotta put him up um, so I started the bidding out at 99 cents and he sold on June 10th for $430 and I believe he sold to a museum so um, the address on the shipping label was a lady's name and then under it was um, the name of a museum so um, that would have been really cool if he actually went uh, I believe he did he went to the museum because the museum was for older artifacts and stuff like that so um, it only be appropriate to have a mid-century rubber faced fish at the museum so he was an awesome sell um, I kind of miss him look at that face so cute but I was definitely happy to see him go to somebody who's going to take care of him. He's he was in such good condition, no flaws. It was just a really great piece. Ooh, these were fun. I found these for a buck, um, a piece. So three, I bought them for three bucks, and um, 
at a garage sale a few houses down from mine so um so yeah, I was really excited to find these. They sold on auction for $38 plus shipping. Ooh, this is hard to see. I didn't realize how bright. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Can you even tell what that is? Um, this is a vintage 1976 Gund plush. Gund is a highly collectible plush. Um, some of the things don't sell too well, but um, this little bunny rabbit was... Um, in mid condition I bought it for a buck the day before she had like a little rattle um, super mint condition and um, sold for 18 yeah 18 plus ship okay this is a 2002 Care Bears Cheer Bear I am surprised that I listed this for 9.95 because I bet you I could have gotten 16 to 18 bucks for this guy. Um, had the tags 2002 and not vintage, but still Care Bears from um, around that year. People still love to buy them and collect them. So, um, um, and sometimes they even go for more than the 1980s Care Bears, which is is pretty cool. So this is Cheer Bear. Cheer Bear 2002 sold for 9.95 and I mean fast like I priced it too low I don't know how that happened but um, but that's okay okay here's creepy clown um, this is another rubber face from the lot that I had bought um, he was actually in really good condition the only thing he was missing was his little um, felt buttons on the front of his shirt so I'm um, sold for 18 This is what a gun, gun creation. These are old school, like mid-century, 1950s, 1960s. So that's an old gun. Let me see if I can show you what this new. Oh, there's that bright one again. I guess I didn't get a picture of her, of her tag. Ooh, creepy. Okay. What's next? Oh, this was cool. Um, I actually skipped over some of the clothing items that I sold, but I added this one in because it's cool. It's from the musical Wicked, um, The Wizard of Oz. I bought it for a buck, sold for nine ninety five. Actually, I think I bought it for fifty. No, oh, I think I bought it for like a quarter, quarter to maybe fifty cents. This was really neat, a Harley Davidson black and pink zip down. Um, I bought it for $1.50 and it sold for 16 Yeah, Harley Davidson supposedly sells really well. So, um, like I said, I'm just learning about clothing. So, um, that's what a Harley Davidson tag looks like. On this one, anyways. Let me see. Oh, this one. This is a fun one. I've sold a few of these actually over the years. And it's from 1977. It's a Johnson & Johnson baby rattle. But um, I'm sure everybody knows what this is because you probably had one when you were little. Um, but yeah, those blue little marble looking things, they swirl around and they land in that candy cane stripe. Super fun. I bought it for 50 cents at a garage sale sold for $9.95. Let's see. Oh, I had this guy for a while. I'm so glad he sold. It actually um, sold for best offer of nine, but he's a watch cover from the 1980s, I believe. So he's a watchdog. This was from the lot. It's another Russian star creation, rubber faced little baby. Sold for 65. Let's see if I can find a Russian there. The Russian tag, the Russian company. Some cardboard up in there. All right. I loved finding this guy. I actually found him the other day. He's so cool. Um, he's a street shark from 1994. And he actually, if you pulled back that little fin on top, his mouth opened and closed. It was just really neat. It's a cool line of toys. Um, I bought them for two dollars, sold for sixteen within twenty-four hours. Ah, what is that? No, don't look at that. Okay, so um, uh, My Little Pony. Um, I think I bought her for a buck, sold her for seven ninety-five. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, these were really cool. These are little piggy banks, little money banks. Um, they're all Flintstones. I bought the set. I paid, let's see, two bucks for each one. So two, four, six, eight, ten. I paid ten dollars for the lot, and they sold for thirty-three plus shipping. They're pretty cool. Like them. Okay, the next thing that sold was from that lot of mid-century toys that I had got in. He's a Smokey the Bear. Very, um, really good shape. Had his tags on. Nice and soft. Nice and clean. And he sold for 16 plus shipping. These two little... Smurfs I had bought in um, actually in separate places bought them for about a quarter a quarter each they don't sell I mean they don't sell too well I mean they're not a highly desirable item just because there's a lot out there but I sold them for 560 plus shipping so that's what their tag looks like a lot of the vintage toys will have tags um, like this they look like that they're kind of typing um, the kind of style so they're actually filled with nuts, nutshells, which is pretty cool. These little guys, kind of cute. I'll pick them up, even though they don't sell for a lot of money. I'll still pick them up because I like them. Okay, these little Polly Pockets. These are not vintage Polly Pockets. Um, those are more modern Polly Pockets. They sold for eight ninety five. dollars um, I, I got them in a, in a lot, so I probably paid about a quarter. For them, sold for eight ninety five. Okay, this item is obviously strawberry shortcake, vintage nineteen eighties um, lunchbox thermos, and yeah, so sold for eight dollars. And sometimes eBay defaults to like priority shipping, free or free shipping. And I didn't catch this one. So it defaulted to free shipping. I didn't catch it. Um, so I had to ship it for free priority shipping, which was six fifty. So I sold it for 8 And uh, minus my eBay fees, I mean, I maybe made like a buck off this thing, if even that. So, you know, once in a while that happens, just make a mistake. And I didn't check the shipping like I should have. And so, yeah, I pretty much gave that away for free. Okay, this is a super cute line of 80s toys. These are called the Snuggle Bombs. These actually sell um, pretty well. This little guy, is, they have babies, they have adults, and they have pets. And so I actually listed a few on my eBay. This was, a, I was selling them yesterday. This was the first to sell. So sold for 16 I probably bought them for about 3 bucks. This elf plush doll from the 1980s, I bought him for $3 at a thrift store, and he sold for $16. Okay, so those were all my eBay sales for so far. Um, just of toys. I didn't show you guys the jewelry, um, and then I didn't show you guys some of the clothing items that sold. But uh, for the most part, I, I sell a lot of toys, so I just included those. And... Um, Actually, on uh, Sweet Zoe's Vintage Toys on my Instagram account, I sold a few things as well. I sold these two little cute Hug-A-Bunch dolls. They were actually um, it's still in their bags. They're actually a uh, fast food toy. So the, uh, Taco Bell actually sold those in the 80s, and they still had their tags on. I sold these for eight a piece, and I purchased them for a buck a piece. So paid two dollars for both of them together, and then I sold them for sixteen. So, so yeah, so fun stuff, guys. All right, guys. Well, I hope that you enjoyed uh, my first sold video. I'm sure, hopefully, I'll get better and better every time I try. Hopefully, I won't have to look like a um, an airplane pilot all the time but um but yeah so yeah if you haven't yet uh follow me on instagram under sweet zoe's vintage toys um follow my uh ebay account and um 
even subscribe to my channel. Let's see what kind of videos I can come up with in the future. Um, I, I just love the sold videos of other um, resellers and pickers and stuff. So, um, so yeah, maybe I can do a couple of haul videos. That'd be cool. I have so many things to list and, um, and yeah, I think that's it. Okay. We'll see you guys later. Thank you.